Hello my dear students, welcome to chemistry in minutes. The question now appearing on your screen is exercise question 3.10. The question is the conductivity of sodium chloride at 298 Kelvin has been determined at different concentrations and the results are given below. So the data is written here concentration, these are the concentrations and conductivity. So these are the values of conductivities. Calculate lambda m value for all the concentrations and draw a plot between lambda m and c raised to the power half. Find the value of lambda m naught. So this is the question. In this we have to data for lambda m value and we have to graph plot karna hai, lambda m or c half, c raised to the power half. And lambda m naught value calculate karna hai from the graph. So let's start solving this. And during solution, the unit of conductivity is given Simon per meter. So, in formula we use Simon per centimeter. So, first we have to know this conversion. So, let's discuss about this conversion. So, Simon per centimeter can be written as Simon per 100 into meter. Because if you have to convert meter into centimeter, then you multiply meter by 100. So this thing we can write 1 upon 100 into Simon per meter. So from here, we can say Simon per centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 into Simon per meter. So using this, first we will find the conductivity of solution in Simon per centimeter. So this is multiplied by 100 and we have to divide it by 100. So conductivity in Simon per centimeter. Here we can write it as it is 1.2. 237 this will be 11.85 this will be 23.15 this will be 55.53 and this will be 106.74 so here we are getting one more column of conductivity in Simon per centimeter. Now let's start solving for the value of lambda m. And we will be writing the lambda m values in this table only because we have to plot a graph. So for the first part, lambda m equal to 1000 k by c. So for first part we can write 1000 into 1.237 into upon C, C is 0 0.001. So this can be written as 1.237 into 10 raised to the power 6. Simon centimeter square per mole or we can write it as 123.7 into 10 to the power 4 Simon centimeter square per mole. So for this column we are getting lambda m 10 to the power 4 into Simon centimeter square per mole. So here we are getting it as 123.7. Now for the next part, again lambda m is equal to 1000 k by c. So 1000 k is 11.85 
upon C concentration is 0 0.01. So this we can write as 11.85 into 10 to the power 5 or 118.5 into 10 to the power 4 simon centimeter square per mole. So, in the next column, we will be writing it as 118.5. Now, for the third value. 1000 k k is here 23.15 c c is 0 0.020 so this will come as 1 1 1.575 into 10 to the power 5 or we can write it as 115.75 into 10 raised to the power 4 simon centimeter square per mole. So this value we are writing here 115.75. Now for the fourth set of values. thousand k is fifty five point three fifty five point five three and c is zero point zero five zero so this on solving you will be getting one one point one zero six into ten to the power five or we can write 111.06 into 10 raised to the power 4 simon centimeter square per mole. So in this column we are writing 111.06. Now for the fifth set of values. thousand k is 106.4 106.74 upon c is 0 0.1 so this thing we can write as 106.74 into 10 to the power 4 simon centimeter square per mole so in this column we are writing 106.74 so these are the lambda m values now to plot the graph we need the value of c raised to the power half c raised to the power half now concentration raised to the power half is square root of 0 0.001 so this thing we will get 0 0.0316 now square root of 0 0.01 that is 0 0.1 next square root of 0 0.02 which is 0 0.141 then square root of 0 0.05 which is approximately 0 0.224 and square root of 0 0.1 which is 0 0.316 so to plot the graph we will be using these values on the graph So during plotting a graph, 
we'll be using c raised to the power half values on this axis the horizontal axis and on the vertical axis we'll be using the values of lambda m so we can mark these points like this One zero six point seven four. So these are the points. So this will be zero point zero three one six, and this point will be zero point one. This point will be zero point one four one. This point will be zero point two two four. And this point will be zero point three one six. Similarly, against zero point zero three one six, we will be getting the value of lambda m as one zero six point seven four. So here, uh, this is zero point zero three one six. So this will be uh, zero one zero six point seven four. And this point will be corresponding to here. Next, zero point two two four. We are getting hundred and eleven point zero six. So for this point, this will be like hundred and eleven point zero six. And this point will be marked here. Then zero point one four one. And corresponding to this lambda m is one one five point seven five. So this will be one one five point seven five. And this will be corresponding to. Then for zero point one, the value of lambda m is one one eight point five. So we will write one one eight point five and. Zero point one will be corresponding to this, and finally zero point zero three one six, and the value of lambda m is one twenty three point seven. Then we can join these points by a free hand like this, and by extra plotting this, it will meet the lambda m axis. So we are here. So this will be the value of lambda m naught. Now after this, I'll be showing you the graph plotted for this question on actual graph paper, and from there we'll find the value of lambda m naught. So this is the graph of Exercise question three point ten. In this, on horizontal axis, we have taken concentration raised to the power half, and on vertical axis, we have taken the molar conductivity of sodium chloride. The values written here are multiplied by ten to the power four to get the exact value given in the question. If we extend the line. representing the variation of molar conductivities for sodium chloride this line meets the vertical axis at a point which is at 125.8 into 10 raised to the power 4 simon centimeter square per mole the scale we have chosen for this graph is for horizontal axis 2 cm equal to 0.05 mole per liter raised to the power half and for vertical axis 1 cm is equal to 10 to the power 4 simon cm square per mole here from the origin we have taken a break because the data in the table is starting from 106 approx so the limiting molar conductivity of sodium chloride from the graph is 125. Eight into ten to the power four simon centimeter square per mole, which is the answer to the question.